Meanwhile, OPS Linger reports to have evidence that the, the new the, the that the U.S. Navy shot down Flight 800 by mistake. <laughs> we are now very sure that what we are saying is true. He shows a com jet, jet close to the gym jet. So what we see here is a missile about to hit TWA-800. Many P... What is this? Strum Strum It was about about an EV sub, which was at speed three hundred fifty kilometers south of our Long Island. The boat tra shins, shins, and travels was a hundred was one hundred sixty me kilometers beyond the range from where its missiles can hit Flight Eight Hundred. Some parts we we looked at every submarine or transportation. We looked at every aircraft. We had to think, even though they were not capable of shooting a missile and taking an airplane down, but they find nothing. The thing that PSS. It was a major thing called radar ghosting. It had was a mirage of Premier Edge Flight 18 flying nearby. The friendly fire theory cost thousands of hours of time and exhausted cost from impossibilities. I can assure you. With nothing, it's tragic. A terrorist bomb or a missile is the, the, the range of the loss of Flight 800. That job. They need to have strange forces. That job. For, Force the na scares the National Transportation Safety Board, the NTSB. The only we go to find in voice recorders or black boxes. They, they, since the day after the crash, maybe died. Gary, I was looking for, for the black boxes. It's slow and dangerous work. Six day, days after the disaster, and there's no sign of the black boxes. It's probably clear that the ocean carriers have buried them in the sand. Then, on day seven, a diver spotted something. A flash of orange. The cockpit voice recorder, that's it! You see right on it? You want to take a picture of it? All right! It's the cockpit voice recorder.